Hi there friends, my name is Hussein, and in this channel we teach Tajik. So today we'll talk about the family members, or in Tajik we say Azoi Oile, and Oile, Oile means family. So family means Oile. And I wrote here great-grandfather first because uh, in Tajik families the oldest person is the boss, always. So great-grandfather will be Bobo Kalon and Kalon means big, yeah, or great. Next one, great grandmother will be Bibi Kalon, Bibi Kalon, and the next one is grandfather, Bobo, Bobo. In some other places, people say uh, Bojom, so I used to say Bojom. So and grandmother will be Bibi, and at the end we have. Uh, long e, e zada, bb, and here we don't have that because in the middle we don't use uh, e zada. It's only at the end, bb. And in some places people say vajon, so I, I say I call my grandmother vajon. But bb is more like formal, common. Yeah, <laughs> father will be patar. And dad or daddy, dad, will be dado or dada. I say dada. Dado is more common. And mother will be modar, similar. And mom, buva or some people say aya. I say aya. So modar, buva or aya. And daughter will be duhtar, duhtar. It's also a girl, so girl will be duhtar and daughter also will be duhtar. And son will be pisar or boy, the same like with duhtar, girl, uh, boy will be pisar. And the last one, grandchild. Grandchild will be nabira. It doesn't matter if it's a girl or a boy, you can just say nabira. If it's someone very, very young, let's say one or two years old, you can just say nabere cha. Nabere cha, if we add cha at the end, it means like small. Nabere cha. All right. And sister. Sister will be hohar. Sister, hohar. Brother, barodar. And for younger brother, we have the word dodar. But for younger sister, we don't have that word. We just say here. Younger sister would be Hohari khurdi. Hohari at the end we have e. Hohari khurdi. Or if she's older, we say hohari kaloni. All right, few more things I forgot to mention when I was talking about sister. Sorry for that. So older sister, sometimes we say bucha or apa, depending on the place in Tajikistan. And uh, bucha, older. Apa is the same. And uh, it's informal in the books you will not see this probably and younger brother and sister we say uko uko doesn't matter brother or sister we use this word uko both this is also informal but for the brother we have barodar so hasan is my brother even though just for five or ten minutes still older brother i say barodar and then dodar younger so next one has husband Husband is shawhar, uh, or some people say <laughs> shu, like this. Shu is more informal. Some people say shu. <laughs> okay, and wife will be zan or hamsar. Yes, and the child will be kodak or bacha. For example, you want to say, I have three children. Uh, man se Bacha doram or manse kodak doram. Kodak is some for someone younger, right? Uh, usually someone who is like maybe three, five, seven years old. Okay, now let's talk about relatives. We say khesho vandom. This one is khe, khesho vandom. And in Tajikistan, we have a lot of relatives. Uh, I have 17 cousins from both sides, from mother's and father's side. And Uncle, we say taro, and in some places in the south, they say taroi. This one, taroi. 
And this is a bit complicated because in English you just say ta, uh, uncle, so it doesn't matter if it's from your father's side or mother's side. But in Tajik, if it's your, if that person is your mother's brother, we say taho. And from the father's side, we say amak. So I have one amak and two taho. Yes. And aunt, the same thing like with uncle. Hola from the mother's side. Hola, I say oi hola. And amma will be from the father's side. Amma, amak, oh, a, a, both from the father's side. And cousin. Hola bache. Hola bache. <laughs> Again, complicated. Hola bache will be from the mother's side. Taho bache as well. So these two from the mother's side. Hola bache. Taho bache. Bache means like kid. And amabache, amakbache is from the father's side. This part. Okay. This part is easier. Nephew, niece, both. We just say Jian. Jian. And in some places, in the south probably, Hoharzoda, Dodarzoda. And next one is bright. And we say arus, arus, and groom will be domot. That's a big deal in Tajikistan. That's uh, wedding is like the biggest event in their lives usually. So uh, let's move on. Married means oilador, oilador, and single will be mujarat. But we don't usually say mujarat. Uh, that's really very very formal. Um, we usually say oilador ne. For example, I'm not married. I say man oilador ne. So here are some examples. I have two nephews and one niece. I really have two nephews and one niece. So man se. You can say man se jian doram. Yak du pisar yak duhtar. So. Two boys and one girl. Man se And another example. Are you married? Shumo oiladormi. We say in the north part, we say oiladormi. In the south, they don't use me. They can just say shumo oilador, like this. But we use me at the end. It's like Chinese. They add ma at the end. We say me. Shumo oiladormi. Shumo Khursan me. Are you happy? So something like that. All right, that's it for today. And thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.